So we'll have a short video to see how the bullet's tracking along. Got two coats on all the new steel on the tray. Still got to do the tail lights and the rock lights underneath. But the tray's now temporarily done, got the tire on. We just got to work out our toolboxes. We've got the high lift jack on. Adam's new water container holder. Got that fixed in. We're just filling it up now, make sure there's no leaks. Okay, that works. We'll just uh, let it all dry up, make sure there's no leakage. So I guess next move, getting a hole in the Perspex rear window. But I'm still in two minds. I think I might have to take about 30 mil out of the seat height. Adam doesn't fit in here too comfortably. So there will be some events where he will need to start in the car. So we don't want him losing his head coming out. Another thing that arrived was Tony's long spline front tail shaft. Check out the length of that. So that's his custom spline that he uses, still runs a double cardinal and I noticed here how the grease nipple is on the outside edge so you don't have to uh, fight the, the grease gun to try and get it in but that's a lot of travel, I'm not going to get that much as we saw on the forklift, it got pretty far uh, but it's going to sort out all our issues under there so we won't be too close like that to bottom out and it won't be won't come out too far that it slips out of the joint altogether and now internally we've got to locate where we need to make the cut so I think I'm going to do one big slot for the two belts to come through I mean they're going through this in the seat plus they're going to be bolted to that plate there so what I might do so we know where they are I'm just going to put a, a mark across here you know that that there is basically what the hole looks like in the chair. So I'm thinking I might just cut a slot. Something like that. Something like this. So it's coming out and then bolting down. Right, now my weapon of choice for this little hack is the trusty old jigsaw. Well, what I've done, I've put a brand new metal blade in it, so it's a nice fine cutting. So hopefully it doesn't make a hacking mess. It's a nice fine cut. I've given a bit of room there so there's plenty of plenty of slack that'll be up higher that's going to come in through the top that clicks on Bird's eye view from behind. I've also had to take that Roadrunner sticker off from the center of the back panel there because I just couldn't see. Not helping me that I got this guy here. 
But we'll replace that Roadrunner off-road sticker and I think I've got the perfect spot for it. If there was ever a perfect spot for a sticker, this is it. Look at this. Perfect. Even keep a bit of the rain out. Who were you dressed as? Mugs. Mugs. There's loads of other books, but I chose this one because this is the only book I have. And who are you, Nicholas? And he ah. he is the shark from Bad Guys. Nice. And he's got the um the spider on his head. <laughs> nice one, kids. Well, we get to show the viewers at home these nice GoPro Hero Nines, blacks. Actually, while you're here, we can show the viewers. This good bit of gear that's just come along. It could be a little bit premature because we weren't gonna do this at this point because I haven't got the 40s yet. But this is what we received from Marlon. Come out in the sun, see this good bit of gear. So this is the twin case adapter. So what happens here is we'll have the front case, then this uh, picks up the second case. It's shiny. So it is shiny. It's a beautiful it's, bit it's of shining in the sun. Billet. Um, now, what I'm saying earlier is, I wasn't going to do this at the moment, uh, but because we're locked down for another who knows four six weeks, we might just tidy up this floor, and um, I'll pull that transfer case out, and we'll get the two transfers bolted up together, uh, and then we'll cut the rear shaft down, and um, you know the 40s come, they come before the next run. But I can still drive the vehicle with the two cases, uh, even just on single four sevens. So we can still run it on the 37s. But yeah, how good is it? All right. So join us in the next episode where Brian will put together a nice video for us of putting together a twin transfer case, reduction gears in one and standard gears in the second. As always, thanks for watching.